In this video, we'll take a short look at DNA replication. Here we see a representation of a DNA molecule replicating or making a copy of itself. This is necessary to pass on a complete genetic code to new cells, and it occurs every time a cell divides through mitosis. There are three steps to DNA replication. Unzipping or unraveling of the molecule, complementary base pairing, and nucleotide bonding. Here's a closer look at what happens. In the first step, the DNA molecule, through the action of helicase, an enzyme, unzips. Hydrogen bonds between the bases are broken and the two DNA strands separate. In the next stage, complementary base pairing, new nucleotides move in and pair up with the bases of each template strand of DNA. This is possible because nucleotides are present in the nucleoplasm at all times. In the third stage, nucleotide bonding, sugar phosphate bonds form between adjacent nucleotides of the new strand to complete the molecule. The new molecules wind into two double helices. So if we compare the two molecules that we end up with here, we should note that they are identical to the original molecule. This process is known as a semi-conservative process because if you look closely at the final two DNA molecules, you'll see that one half of each molecule shown in blue is actually part of the original molecule. The part shown in red is the new part of the molecule. But if you check the pattern of A's, T's, C's, and G's, you'll see that they are identical. And so what we've done is made a complete copy of the original molecule. Make sure you can answer this question. Why is DNA replication said to be semi-conservative? In class, we'll take a look at the details of DNA replication when we cover DNA replication, the long story.